Hey, this is Infinity Eclipse, and this is a tutorial on how to make Harry Potter potions! They're really simple and cool looking. You can't really see the swirliness in this lighting and this camera because it kind of sucks, but you'll see the swirliness when we make it. So, yeah, and my friend Kate is here to help me. Say hi with your Hello. hands, your beautiful hands. I know. Yeah, we're going to introduce ourselves with our hands because we're not going to show our faces to you because you guys are strangers and we can't trust you. Well, we won't trust you because you could be a stalker. Anyway, alright, so the things you will need are a glass of water or a cup of water. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. He just a rag, so in case the surface you don't want getting dirty, you can lay this over and it's perfectly fine. And a paper towel could work too. Piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And scissors. Scissors. You will also need something to brew in. We're brewing in this giant seashell because we don't want any of our bowls to get dirty. And it's actually quite easy in a seashell. It's the perfect size for our bottles. Yep. And you'll need um, these little bottles. I bought these at Hobby Lobby and they come in packs of about nine so you can make different potions. I've made Skelly Grow and Felix Felicis, but we're just going to show you Polyjuice Potion and Love Potion today. <clears throat> anyway, you'll also need clear tape. Um, as long as it's clear and sticky, any type of tape will do. Um, and some metallic watercolors. I don't remember where I got this. I'm sorry that I couldn't help with that, but as long as it's metallic and watercolored, then it should be fine. And of course, a paintbrush. You Your need. local craft store should have these. Yeah, like Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Anyway, we're gonna start making I'm going to start making the Polyjuice Potion. So I'll and the reason we use metallic is because it gives this lovely swirl, sparkly color. And you can't really see it right now, but when we make it, it you'll be able to see it. Yep. So I'm laying up my rag, putting my brewing material there, getting my water, placing it on like a corner. And then I open my watercolors. And since I'm making Polyjuice Potion, it can be any color. C because, as all Potterheads know, Polyjuice Potion, like everyone's, is different. It comes in all different colors and stuff. But I'm going to make mine green. So just get your brush wet. Just like dip it in the color you want to get it all wet and painty. Because watercolors need water to become paint. And then, once it's nice and painty, just pour some water into whatever you're brewing in. And a little bit extra from what you think will fill the bottle because lots will run off of the sides. Then get a glob of paint on your brush. Unless you have a funnel. Yeah. Our funnel has cat pee on it, so we're not using it right now. And just stir it in. And it should look nice and swirly. I don't know if you can see it yet. But you should be able to see it in a minute. See that swirl? Yep. It's nice and cool and sparkly. Swirly. This only works if you have metallic paint. I'm going to add some teal and some darker green. You can mix all the colors you want to make the perfect shade you want. Now, I like this color, so I, I'll say that this is my Polyjuice Potion. And I just take the bottle, take the cork off, and this is where you'll really need a rag or a paper towel. Just pour it in. It's running off the sides. That went but that's okay. smoother than last time. <laughs> yeah, when we tried this last time, it was all over the place. And just put your cork in. And our label machine um, isn't with us right now. We lost it, actually. We're really short on equipment for, the, for today. So we'll show you how to make your own labels after Kate makes a love potion. So, let's set up for Kate. Slight intermission. Sorry, this camera doesn't pause, so we can't, like, skip to the next part. 
Okay, because I'm using a bigger, bo bigger bottle, I think it's better to use one like this because it's a love potion. I think yeah. it should be bigger and bolder. And when you think of love, you think of a heart, and hearts are like short and plump. Poofy. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, because I like to kind of test run what I'm doing, um, this looks like it's like that. Speak up on you. Put it in there and soak it and paint it. It looks a little darker like a lipstick color. So you basically just put, act like you're putting lipstick on with a paintbrush. Speak up. And then add your water. So I added water and then mixed the paint in, but she's putting the paint in first and then adding water. She added a little too much, so she put some back in. So that's pretty dark. You can see it swirling. I don't so really want burning. that. So I'm going to pour a little, if you think it's too dark, you can pour a little bit out and add a little bit more water so it's not as dark like so. So now it's like a light pink. And I'm going to add this color to make it a violet type color. You can see it swirling. That is almost perfect. And keep adding stuff till it's the color that you want. Now the that boss of it. doesn't get any more perfect than that. It's a great love potion. Mm, okay, you can see those swirls. Okay. And this bottle is a little easier to pour into because it doesn't the hole have, is bigger. Yeah, the hole is a lot bigger than the one that I used. Oh, oh I did not aim still very well. Still a little messy though. That's okay, I would like a little bit more than that. So I'm um, see because I painted at the bottom. Uh, because it's bigger bottle. If you have a bigger bottle, it's better to paint at the bottom because you have a little bit of excess. We're videoing. And then pour this in. And put it up there. And dab that in there. I think that's good. Then add a little bit of that violet color that I was talking about. Speak up. That matches just about perfectly. You say so, or you need a little bit lighter? I think it's good. There we go. That's perfect. There we go. Just add a little bit more. Just pouring it in. There we go. It's Pour beautiful. It and beautiful. Just put your cork in. And the cork voila. in. Voila. Voila. And then we are going to make our labels. Labels. So take both of our potions. And we're not going to put ours on here until we find them. And as you can see, the paint is at the bottom, so you shake it up. And it has that lovely sparkly color. Yeah, sometimes the paint just sinks to the bottom after in time. So you just need to shake it up and it'll be back to when it was pretty. All right. So we're going to put this stuff away. Scooch it to the side. Let me see the paintbrush. Just put it away. Close stuff. And now we're going to make labels. Oh, and I forgot something at the beginning. You'll need a pen or some sort of sharpie or something. Uh, I'm going to use this nice llama pen from Peru. All right, so we're going to cut out a little, well this is a label for the love potion. And we're not going to put it on until we find a label maker. Yeah. So it'll be a little bit neater. Um, we're not going to put the label on ours but you can put it on yours. So just cut out like, a little piece of paper, kind of like that. Um, see how it fits? This is a bit big, so I'm just going to trim it a bit. That looks about good. So I'm going to write in really tiny. Just label it. It's not a very good pen. Yeah, this pen isn't the best. I'm going to use this fancy smanchy purpy purple pen. My handwriting's not the best. And then you would just take this and tape it on with the clear paint. I mean, <laughs> tape.